Okay, I'm going to show you how to install the batteries in a DMP meter. All you're going to need is one Phillips screwdriver. This is a P1 that fits nice. Uh, when you get the box, open it up. You'll have three items in it. The meter, a pack of batteries, and the battery holders. So the first step is going to be to take off the face of the meter here, the electronics and display. This red shroud here, which is a, a protective bumper for impact, is also the gasket between the meter and the electronics. So it's very important to get that seated properly when we reassemble. But the first thing to do is to take out these four screws and remove the face. Once we got them all loosened, knock them out, set them aside, and now gently pull this top off. Be careful because you do have the wire connected to the meter and the display, so you don't want to pull too hard or too far on that. If you can, keep the circuit board here seated down nice into the shroud, and then take the connector here. You can see it has a top and a bottom. It's got these two uh, ribs on the top that need to stay upwards and simply slide that in here until it clicks in. Then it's as simple as putting in the batteries like anything. You're going to put the flat side or the negative side down against the spring, push it in, flat side, negative side down against the spring, push it in. Turn it over. You can see it's now live. So now you need to put the batteries back into the meter body and then get this on. At this time you can put the display however you want on any 90 degree rotation. Keep in mind the arrow of the flow here, the flow direction, so whether you want it vertically or horizontally, left to right, up to down, it's your choice. But what you need to do is get this shroud back on, and like I said, it's the gasket, so you want to make sure that you get that on good. So that came out, that's fine. You see these tabs in here, make sure they're on the inside, and that the outside's on the outside. That's on all four sides. Get them snug down around the whole uh, rim of the body. Then you can pop the electronics back down in. Then put in your screws. I'll start with two. And then I'll put in the other two. First round here, just snug them up, don't over tighten them. And as soon as there's resistance, you can stop. Now, at this point, check, make sure you do have that properly seated the entire way around the perimeter. At that point, you can come back in, tighten them up hurt to use a star pattern like when changing a tire but just a little eighth of a turn a quarter of a turn just to really snug them up and there you have it